It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another tidbit of the week for you. So this week I want to cover a really nice little command line utility that I've been using for several years now. Um, if you haven't seen it, I think it'll be really great for you. If you have seen it, then hopefully you just enjoy seeing a video about it. So I'm going to enlarge my uh, command line here just a little bit for you guys. It's really more for me than you guys, honestly. I don't think you probably need it any bigger than it was. I'm going to drag it out just a little bit too so you can really get kind of the full effect here and we'll just clear this. There we go. All right. So I'm going to do um, the installation and this is Inmon. In, uh, like Nancy, Mary, Ocean, Nora. Inmon. So I'm going to do, uh, this is Ubuntu, sudo apt install Inmon. It's going to ask for your security there. And once it's installed, we will be able to run Enmon. It's a pretty small utility, so that's really nice. So you just type in Enmon, and this is what you get. So you get kind of this starting page, and it tells you here you can you know type different characters and things like that to see different information about your system. Now I know there's graphical user interface stuff built into the system today. And on a desktop, sometimes that's perfectly fine. But sometimes you're running a headless server, which means you SSH in, and you're not going to get all that stuff. You have to use top and htop and btop and every other kind of top out there to try to get a bunch of information. And sometimes that's really useful, and those are great utilities too, and I'll cover those. But Inmon is kind of a nice summary, and it's got a nice layout, so I really kind of enjoy it. And if you SSH into a system, you can have a small terminal, large terminal, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it kind of scales as you change the terminal size. But down here you can see, you just type C for CPU, capital C equals a wide view, and then M for memory, D for your disk usage, R for resource, K for kernel, L for CPU long term, uh, U for utilization, V for virtual memory, N for your network bandwidth stuff. Um, capital N for NFS, so if you have uh, network file storage, you can see that information as well. Uh, T for top processes, so this kind of has some top stuff built into it. Uh, let's see, so you use the minus for, or the hyphen if you want to say that, for faster screen updates, and the plus for give it a little bit slower updates, like you don't have to have that information as often. J for file system information. Uh, Let's see, period is going to be only business disks, so basically processes, things like that. Uh, H is going to be more options, and Q for quit. So uh, out of the gate, let's just look at what a, a little bit of what this can do. So I'm going to do CPU, and you'll see here you get nice CPU view here, and you can kind of see what's going on, and it cuts off right here, and I'm guessing that's what the capital C does. So I'm going to go Q, which will quit out of it. I'm going to do Nmon again, and we'll do Shift C. Yeah, it didn't really make it any longer. It made it taller, um, so it's getting a little bit more CPU information from the CPUs. I don't actually have that many CPUs, so maybe that's cores, more more of the cores than it is. Uh, uh, I, I have four cores, so I don't know what it's showing us there. So I'm going to do it one more time, Q, Nmon. And we'll go with regular C. That's the one that I use all the time. And you can kind of see. So it tells you how much of your CPU you're utilizing right now. So on four cores, I'm utilizing basically 25 to 50%, 40%. And then it kind of gives you an average down here of those cores and, and what's being used. And I'm guessing that's because I'm using the screen recorder right now. So as I'm looking at my CPU usage and I, I say, wow, okay, well, let me look at my memory usage. You just hit the M key, like Mary, memory. And you can see here total megabytes of RAM, what's free, and then that kind of, you can just do some subtraction and understand what's being used. So I don't know how accurate this is. There's no way on earth that I'm using up like 14 megabytes of RAM um, or gigabytes of RAM, sorry. No, this is gigabytes. So this is showing it to you in megabytes. But yeah, there's no way I'm using up 14 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not sure how accurate this one is. I think it is generally pretty accurate. Maybe I am. I've got some things open down here at the bottom that are using up some, some resources, I'm sure, um, even though I don't have them up on the main screen. So as we continue down the list, we can look at network utilization just by hitting the N. And here it's going to show you your up and down speeds, things like that. So as I, I'm not using any network stuff right now for the most part. There will be a few things that will pull occasionally for information. So you'll see that kind of spike up. And then... D for disks, and that's one that I look at, you know, on a fairly regular basis. So we'll just full screen this guy. 
and down here you can kind of see my disk usage and my, my IO for my disks. Um, so as you kind of build out, you see more and more information here in Inmon. Um, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to do H. Let's see what that gives us here. It gives us the help, so it gives us information, so that's cool. If there's a way, yeah, reset, uh, oh, peak marks, yeah, so that'll, so that'll set kind of, so these down here are your peak marks on your CPU, and if you want to reset those, you can use the zero key. So if I hit zero, you see they reset back down, so they'll kind of pick back up wherever that actually happens. You can go into black and white mode with lowercase b. Uh, U is going to be top process uh, with command line hit U twice to update it. Okay, so gotcha. And then we see the rest of the information that we saw earlier for what those hotkeys do. So I was looking for one that would actually let me clear the screen. I don't actually see that. Um, anywhere here on the list so and here you go so Nigel Griffiths thank you Nigel Griffiths for making Inmon this is a really awesome tool um, I'm gonna go back I'm gonna hit Q I'm gonna hit Inmon again just to clear the screen there I want to try some of these other things so we've done kind of the main ones there and I'm gonna do R for resources so this gives us a view of what resource usage is going on and then I'm going to do the U, and here we go. Okay, so this is going to give us some information about our top processes. And then I think UU is supposed to update it. Okay, so this kind of gives you a little bit of top. It tells you what's going on, what's using the most the most processes. And right now, of course, you can see it's my screen recorder. After that, it's X, and so on. So we'll quit out of that one, and we'll go to Inmon again. And let's see, um, so capital U is utilization. Let's see if that's different from what we just did. Yeah, so here's our utilization information. And then we do help. We get our H here. Uh, megahertz by thread and CPU. Let's look at capital M. And then let's do K. And I don't know if I can scroll or not. I think I just run out of screen room, so that's not good. Good. I think there's a page up, page down. Am I missing something? Um, let's look at only busy disks. So we'll do P. Or the period, actually, not P. So we'll use the P to look at only busy disks. I don't see anything really happening on the screen there. We'll do K for the kernel. So you get some kernel information. Most of the time I use C for CPU, M for memory usage, N for network and D for disks. Uh, there's a lot more options here in Inmon, but it's a really cool terminal application that gives you a great view of what's going on in your system. I think you'll like it. You should get out there and install it. Give it a shot. See if it helps you in your daily activities. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.